Hello, my loves. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Leah here, aka Leah Beer Beauty. For today's video, I am back with my skincare routine. I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my skin all the way together when I haven't been showing it the most consistency or the most TLC. And my skin needs both of those equally to flourish. So if you're interested in seeing the products I use and seeing my skincare routine in general, then please, please, please keep on watching. Before we get on into this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. That way you can become a part of my family over here at Leah Beer Beauty. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I hope you enjoy this one and I will see you guys at the end. <laughs> been suffering lately and it's like 50% my fault because I really haven't been the most consistent not really putting in the effort and the time that's necessary as you can see I have this going on right here mm, this side is not as bad but it's mostly just my forehead I have a little pimple the mask I'm using today is this pumpkin spice chai latte mask literally who the hell do they make this shit for I look crazy but I love my channel, so... <laughs> it feels a little weird talking with this because I just think I look silly, but... Yeah, so what are you guys gonna be for Halloween? I think Halloween is in, what, two days? I don't know if I have a lot of subscribers that are into, like astrology and all of that stuff but halloween is going to be a full moon uh a blue moon and the transits are in taurus okay i just listen i honestly don't think that i'm gonna go out for halloween i really want to spend that night setting my intentions for the month of november you know what i mean like i want to sage and just cleanse my energy and i actually might do a video about that so let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Oh my gosh, I look like I don't have a freaking lip. There's going to be so much energy going on that night for some reason. And all that energy with the funkiness going on with the moon, I just think it's best to stay inside. Even though I'm not going to go out, out, I'm still going to be doing a costume, getting dressed up and taking pictures and stuff like that. I'm going to be a brat still. I actually was doing a poll on my Instagram and it's getting really competitive over there. Okay, it's very freaking close. So if you don't already, definitely follow me on my Instagram. That way you can be a part of the polls that I do. October has been such a crazy month for me and just changing, you know, like I've really like i've gotten forced out of my comfort zone this month change is uncomfortable or can be uncomfortable for anyone but i feel like this change was necessary happy to be feeling like myself again for a couple weeks there i honestly did not have routine it was just a mess guys i'm so ready for this election to just be over because i'm tired of these texts or vote america usa whatever the people they are they're literally i get more text messages from them than i do on a regular basis from anybody else and they don't even say my right name that's that's what baffles me one of them today called me amanda i was like not even close my name is not amanda hope you guys are all making a plan to vote because this election as as like any election is extremely important and we really need to see a change and i do feel like our generation is the one that can really help to make that change and really have our voices be heard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I literally wish you can feel this right now. Feels like I don't have any pores, even though I still have this texture. Now that we're done with the mask, I'm going to wash my face using this dr bronner's pure cast out soap i have been using this soap for a really long time this is my go-to i rarely rarely switch up and use anything else i tend to find these in tj maxx and like marshall's and ross and stuff a lot cheaper than i find it online i'm gonna add about three drops of the cast out soap and and then i'm gonna run it under the water for like 0.5 seconds
after rinsing that off this is what my skin is looking like the mask really did a good job at tightening my pores especially in this area like it just feels really really if i had on makeup i would definitely go in again with another round of the dr bronner's but because i didn't wear any makeup today i didn't even leave the house i'm not gonna go in with the second layer i'm gonna just let this dry for a couple more seconds and then i'm gonna go in with the second part of my skincare routine the next portion of my skincare routine i'm gonna be going in with these three in one oxy acne pads these pads are very strong so i'm not going to use this over my whole entire face i only use these basically where i'm having a problem this for sure does the job and it also what i've noticed is it helps to even out my skin tone and it's not going to leave a dark mark which for me is the most important because i don't mind breaking out like we're human beings i'm gonna have a breakout here and there like i'm gonna get stressed overwhelmed at some point and a breakout's gonna happen what i mostly care about is the fact that it's not leaving any dark marks behind it's not scarring my face and it's not leaving any like hyper pigmentation next step in my skin once this fully dries is to moisturize at this point my skin feels very tight feels very clean but it it's on the verge it's like on the fence of being dry i'm almost out literally i'm scraping this okay I'm scraping it Since I know that I've been running out of the shea butter, I grabbed a little mini bio oil. This is where the real moisture comes in. And since it is night, I do want to make sure my skin is very hydrated. Just dabbing it, more so pushing it into my pores. And just heating that product up. If I stop my skincare routine for even two to three days, my skin is like, eh, you tried it. And last but not least, I'm going to be going in with my tea tree essential oil. Only putting this on where I have the active breakout. Use it mostly as just like an overnight spot treatment type of situation because tea tree oil, if you use too much of it, it can definitely burn your skin and even scar your skin. And I had to learn that the hard way. So I'm telling you guys. Alrighty guys, so here is how my skin is looking after completing my skincare routine. It's definitely glowing. When I say glowing, honey, I mean glowing. It feels refreshed, it feels moisturized, and my pores feel very, very tight, which is amazing. So yeah, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you can become a part of my family over here at Lear Beer Beauty. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.